Hey everyone. No, I haven't installed stairs in the RV. I am putting down some roots. I might have mentioned that before that I was going to find a place to uh, set myself up for a while since full time traveling is kind of out of the picture, at least at the moment. So, yeah, so here I am. Um, been moving in for the last couple of days. Furniture came today, or some of the furniture came today. But it's been um, it's been quite a few weeks. Uh, I had mentioned in my last little update that there was some stuff going on, and the short answer is that my daughter's grandfather, my uh, former father-in-law. Um, has been living with congestive heart failure for about six years. He had an implanted ICD. The uh, efficiency of his heart was somewhere between 15 and 25%. So he's been living with that and it's been a tough time for him and it was getting worse. And so he landed in the hospital a couple of times and decided that he was just tired of fighting. So, he signed himself into hospice, and my daughter and I were up in Sholo, Arizona with him for the last month, um, taking care of him, and, um, you know, it was, I wish I could say it was quality time. Um, the first week was okay, and then, um, you know, after that it was pretty much just doing uh, round the clock medication and just keeping him comfortable. And he hung on for a lot longer than any of the nursing staff expected because he was stubborn. That's just kind of how he was. And uh, this should be no exception. And he uh, decided to leave on his ex-wife or so grandma, his wife, uh, I don't know why I said ex-wife, but the sixth was her birthday, and that's the day that he decided to leave. It was a uh, pretty tough experience for everybody, obviously for him. Um, you know, he was miserable. And then for us, because, you know, we didn't really get to spend any, uh, any quality time with him for the last couple of weeks. So um, it, was, it was hard. Just glad that he's um, not suffering anymore. And, um, you know, he'll be missed. All that said, I am uh, moving forward with my own plans. So I'm moving into the townhouse here. This was actually one of my rental properties. The tenant moved out. I decided to just move in. And uh, the RV is at my daughter's house. And that's where I'll be doing the work on it and um, parking it because I can't have it parked here. And uh, yeah, so I will start getting back to work and getting some sort of normal back, I guess. Uh, next month, so next month is November, I have my uh, routine checkups, colonoscopy, CT, blood test, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, until then, I'm just going to be getting things squared away here and um, starting to work on the RV again. There's a lot of things that I have pending that I haven't been able to do, so I'm going to get back into that. And frankly, it's a little cooler now in the valley, so this is a better time to do it anyway. So... Um, that's pretty much everything for now. I need to unload the car. I just picked up a bunch of packages and have some stuff to do around the house. Hope everybody is well and happy. And um, don't forget to hug your loved ones because you never know how much time you got with them. Between losing him, losing my sister the beginning of April, coronavirus, and everything else on top of it. I don't know what more could happen this year, 
but um, I mean, I guess we were, we're almost out of it, right? Anyway, hope everyone's good. Talk to you soon.